because at the end of the day, it's not about the child. It's about our own wants and needs that are just selfish as I don't know what, because we want to force somebody else's narrative and sit here and try to make somebody be with us. Some of you women hold your children away from the man because he's with another woman. You are trash. Some of these dudes stalk women and run up on their boyfriends when they move on and you think y'all supposed to be together because y'all have a baby together. Y'all. Mm-hmm. I didn't want to put my face up here. Y'all know who I am. Y'all see who I am. I'm just not dressed appropriate today. Hi, my love bugs. <laughs> He's hitting on the, the right nerve today. Let me tell you, let me tell you. I'm in total agreement in what he is saying because I have been a part of relationships where they're baby mama dramas. And then I've been in relationships and gotten out of marriage, uh, one marriage where I was being stalked at some point, and every time I got into a relationship, it was always she's still my wife. Because legally, yes, we were. We were still married. We didn't do a legal separation. But even then, y'all, legal separation or not, you still technically married. You and then legal, illegal. I mean, not not having a legal. Uh, separation y'all are still married so i learned my lesson you know what i'm saying i'm the one who left the relationship uh any of my relationships uh they left me and i left my marriage i left my marriage um due to you know extramarital affairs and uh and um abuse, and um, a lot of different other things. And a lot got involved. You know, I had kids out of wedlock. You know what I'm saying? And it caused a, it caused a lot of rift. You know, when you do things that's out of the will of God, man, there is always drama. Do you understand? When you have sex out of marriage, drama when you have because look it's not just the baby and I'm, I'm stopping right here on this video go to his uh, mr let go i'm already subscribed as you see okay and i'm telling you guys man that this is crazy because once you realize who is in control and you are not the author and the finisher all you could do is plan but god got a different plan if it doesn't go the way he planned it designed it for you before you even was thought of in um in um in, in before time i was getting ready to go and be belligerent but i had to clean my mouth up but y'all got to realize something anything that's out of the will of god there will always be drama do you hear me i i am living proof of that I had drama after drama after drama after drama. And then once I realized that my spiritual self was not matching with my fleshy self, I had to get with God and say, look, God, um, how do we, how do I get this drama out the way? I mean, through prayer and, and fasting and all that good stuff. Like, come on, man. Really? Really? Let's, let's go ahead. Let's, let's, let's talk about this. Like, you really, really have to stay in the will of God. I'm trying to get my camera up because I really want to talk about this with my with the sincerity of my face on here. I don't know what the heck. Nope. So, yes, we do. So, I'm just going to put my camera up like this. Okay, so look, y'all. This is so important. We have to change um, this whole, um, our outlook on life, period, 100%.
because everybody is like, oh, woe is me. Oh, woe is me. My life is so messed up. I do such good things, and I'm such a good person, and I, I do things like I'm supposed to. No, you don't. Uh uh-uh. No, you don't. I'm proof of that, okay? I've been in church all my life. So from five years old, when, and when God called me at 12, up to my 50th birthday, I'm living proof of all that. Actually, earlier than that, 44. But um, it started at 44. No, it ended at 5. It ended at 44. I had, like, it was slowly just fading out because I was, I was, you know, really doing some evaluations of my life. I had to do this because I knew that this was not where I wanted to be. So let me go ahead and change this out. So I can get it off it there. Yeah, y'all, y'all. Mm-hmm. Yeah, look at this. Will Smith everywhere. So, y'all, Um, I wanted to make sure. Yeah, it is 4.33, and it is 55 degrees, and we're raining in East Cleveland, God dog it. <laughs> hey, my love bugs. I really wanted to get into this. I hurt myself trying to fix my security cameras. I have my Wi-Fi back up. That's why it's clear, y'all. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, everything is up and working. It's it's going fine. But I'm, I'm getting back into it. So let me tell you, like, once you start realizing that your place in life is not your own, it is subject by the spirit that's within you, that you listen to the that tells you the good things and the bad things. Like when you get so uncomfortable with making this move and it doesn't feel right to you, don't do it. Because that's the spirit man in you telling you, hey, hey, I'm giving you the first warning. It's called vibes, energy. Listen to the listen to your energy of your body. If it lowers and you, and, and you really not into what it whatever it is, don't do it. Don't do it. It will be revealed later on when you don't do it. Why? <laughs> and then you thank the Lord for you not doing it. Okay. Um. Man, I'm listening to that little segment. I swear to God, this is like a trigger, but not a trigger because I don't go through this. I went through this before, and I'm not going through this now. Um, I'm not dealing with no baby mama drama. I'm not dealing with nothing. The only drama I'm dealing with is the drama of my subby world right now. And dealing with, you know, my my husband-to-be as we are transitioning to be together for the rest of our lives. That's it. Um... We have we have little loose ends and stuff, but it's not to the point where drama is is just catching us. First of all, we empty nesters. Um, I am an empty nester, but I took on my uh, kid's father's son right before he died, and now I'm raising a man. I gotta get a young man to a man, and. That's a responsibility into itself. But I also look at it like this. When I was doing my self-check on things that I didn't want in my life and didn't realize that I was moving stuff out the way for this little boy to come into my life. And so that way I can show him the proper way of living so that way he doesn't grow up in the toxicity of uh, the the crap that I went through before I start doing my self check, um, and um, self care, self mental um, um, evaluations. You know, you have to really just go within yourself and then do the fast, do the prayers. You know, look, look at your Bible, read your Bible, and um, I mean literally read it, like rightfully divide the word, study to show thyself approved, rightfully dividing the word in order to get the right uh uh, uh meaning, the right the right meaning for what. Is is the plan for your life, I, and I'm gonna keep up with these fingerprints, man. Be your own authentic self. 
Don't worry about what the next man doing. Don't worry about what the next next clothing line coming out. You know, don't worry about uh 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 uh. You man, if you in the projects, you ain't got time for no relationship, screwing around and nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got time. If you live in low income housing, don't take. Don't, what do you have? You got time to sit on your butt. You got time to get up and start figuring out if you belong at in the in the the the, the black owned businesses or or and I'm talking on behalf of our brothers and sisters. I ain't talking about everybody else in the world because let me tell you. We out there talking about we want differences to be made, but we don't make the differences within ourselves. Like you, like I literally had to do this. The things that goes on around me has nothing to do with anything. I mean, my name ain't no in nobody's mouth because I don't involve myself. I don't even involve myself with my grown kids situations no more. Like I kept, I had to pull myself out of that. You know, I was, you know, we're one fall. We all come together and we all going to fall and we going to fall out with you. You know what I'm saying? And if you fighting, you going to call your brother, sister, cousin, auntie, uncles, daddy, mama. And we all coming up in cars, get ready to whoop that tail. Like, no, 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 that's not my life. This is not where God wants me to be. And I had to explain to my kids because they was like, mom, 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 we, we got this, we got this. They were always pushing me out the way of situations that they got themselves into. Thought that, you know, hey, they they put in, you know, mom, you old, you can't be doing that. But it's, it wasn't the fact of all that. It was the fact that I don't need to be involved, period. Because you all got to make the same evaluation sometime down the line, whatever that season is for you. You know what I'm saying? So now... I'm getting ready in this video. I want you all to understand. Stop using kids, your situation. Stop being narcissistic. Stop being controlling. Move on with your life. Keep keep your business your business. Because I just had a, a one of my old business partners come over the other day. And guess what? He said, so where your your fiance at? I said, none of your business. Business get you some. Cause number he said, well, you you you're not promoting your 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 husband to be, and I said, oh, don't get it twisted, honey. I just choose to keep you out of my business. When the time comes, the world will know who my man is, and my man of God, and my husband, my best friend, my homie, lover friend for the rest of my days. Because here I am, I am fifty years old, and I ain't trying to get to know nobody else. In this time, if it doesn't work out, guess what? I'm going to tell you this. I ain't marrying nobody else. That is a 100. I'm going to be about God's business. Best believe that. If I got an itch for a scratch, I'm sorry to tell you that, guys. I know, you know, I, can, I I'm sorry. I gotta keep it real. Gotta keep it 100. Not everything that 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 that, that I say out my mouth is 100% good, but it's it's like 98% good. You know, good and the and you know. Something when you have crossed the line over to sex before marriage, you gonna crave that thing until either God come in and snatch it away from you. And and but I got to tell you, my 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 toys is my friends. Until I I if nothing else I have in this lifetime, my toys is my friend. Okay, so. Um, I'm not trying to be nasty or anything like that. It's just like, I'd rather have a toy than have some random Negro after this. If, if, if not, 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 no, 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 it's not going to happen. I'm just going to put it out there right now. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. But if you don't prepare for the, cause you, tomorrow's not promised to none of us, none of us. But I made it a I made a commitment to God, and I'm making a commitment to my man of God, my husband to be, and let him know there will be no itching for no scratch once you gone. Okay, all right. So there will be no other man in my bed. Period. 
Boom. So, yeah, I will be married to myself and to God. <laughs> All right, so let me get up out of here. Look, stop using your kids as a pawn, man. Stop, stop using, you know, your your feminine wiles and your sexuality and your grown and sexy so you think you are. Um, so I'm just saying, look, some guys out here think they the bomb.com and look like Kermit the Frog. I'm sorry. Did I say that? Did I stutter? Let's give a little moment of silence. Silence. Yeah, I did that. I said that. <sighs> I love your confidence, honey. But there's a it's when insecurity and doubt and other stuff is all in the way and you can't let somebody move on to their life with their life because you can't let go. You real ugly person, okay? With muscles and whatever else you think you had to, you didn't put on for somebody to think for for you to think that somebody would just latch on to you for that. If we don't have a chemistry, we just don't have a chemistry. Jesus love you, and so do I. I may not like your ways, but I love you anyway. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.